Hi there, TweetDeck is now available for the new Apple iPad. Let's take a look. When holding the device in portrait mode, you can see two columns of tweets. Touch a tweet and it appears in the detail view at the top. Touch the person's name and it reveals the profile view. Here you can see their recent updates, the people they are following, and their followers. You can see their bio, their web page, etc. Touch the corner and you're back to the tweet again. You can click on any links and they will open inside the app. You can choose to open in Safari as well if you want. Click the corner and we're back at the tweet. Navigate up and down the columns with your fingers. Just swipe up and down. Swipe left and right to navigate across the different columns that you've got added. You can obviously have multiple columns here, as many as you like, with as many Twitter accounts as you like. When viewing a tweet detail, we can easily reply just by touching the reply button, typing our message. We can select the accounts that we wish to use by using the little buttons at the top of the message. Deselect the ones you don't want, select the ones you do, touch send, and that sends our reply. We can retweet using either the classic old style retweet where we can edit the message or touch the top bar to change it to a new style retweet. Again, set your accounts, click send and the message goes. We can also DM, email and favour to tweet from here as well. Rotate your iPad and we're into column browsing mode where we can see three columns at a time. Touch a tweet and you've got quick access to reply, retweet, send direct message, email and favourite it. Again, swipe left and right, up and down to navigate through all your columns. Pull down slightly one of your columns and you can enter some search terms which will filter that particular column in place based on the terms that you've entered. You can quickly gain access to someone's profile by touching the quick profile button at the top, type their Twitter user ID and click the button and that will show you their profile where you can follow, reply, DM, block, and you can view their profile details. The gear icon gives you access to all the settings where you can add extra accounts and change the way TweetDeck behaves. You can use the plus icon to add a new column to your TweetDeck, including all the usual Twitter columns, such as lists, searches, all friends, and direct messages. And you can touch the compose button to create a brand new tweet. You can use the buttons at the bottom to insert recent hashtags, recent users, shorten links, insert a photo and geotag your tweet if you want to. Tweets that have been geocoded will appear with a little interactive map next to them. And also each column, if you click on the header, has a view on map option which allows you to see all the geocoded tweets from that column on a big full-size map. You can click the pins to see the tweets and you can also add additional columns in so you can see your whole Twitter experience all laid out for you on a map. So that's an overview of TweetDeck for the iPad. The best way to explore it is just to download it and have a play. It's available in the App Store now.